What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel, Sports, Life, and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, YouTube's number one couch detective. Remember for the news. And here this past weekend, there was a memorial celebration in New Mexico where a lot of people who drive their motorcycles come together and they enjoy food and drinking and fun in the sun. But there was two rival motorcycle gangs who ended up in a shootout. And they're calling it a mass shooting. Now, is it a mass shooting? Yes, because a mass of people did get killed and shot. But there's two different kinds of mass shootings. There's a mass shooting when somebody snapped and killed for no reason. Then there's a mass shooting of people with rival gangs. And this is the rival gang mass shooting. Now, in the United States, there have been an inordinate amount of mass shootings of motorcycle gangs in the United States. I will be going over this clip, but I just want to go through some of these cases, as you can see. Uh, biker gang investigates four men on New Year's Day shoot. Motorcycle gang speaks involving members. You can just go down, shoot out of motorcycle gangs on I-5s, leave one in the grave. Shooting on US-95 outlaw motorcycle gang. That's right here in Vegas where I stay. Ten more arrested in biker gang mass shooting. That was in Oklahoma. You can just go down the list of biker gangs that's happened. And that was in the past year. Now, I could have went into more, but there were so many. But I just want to, you know, give a look at there is a lot of violence. The United States has become the most violent country in all of the world. There is a demonic spirit over the United States that just cannot be shaken under any circumstances. I will be covering this uh, Memorial Weekend shooting in Chicago, but Chicago is just a microcosm of what the United States has become overall. The amount of shooting, killing, violence, unnecessary death, it's unprecedented. It's at an all-time high. Let's take a look at the clip. Tonight, the Main Street mass shooting in New Mexico. Three people in there, five injured, after police say rival bike brigades opened fire at a popular motorcycle. Game. All eight individuals have been identified as outlaw motorcycle gang members. The call a lot of the gunfire breaking out Saturday evening in Red River small resort town at the southern end of the Rocky Mountains. Police and one of them he said was the Bandinos, and I really couldn't hear the other one. If you uh, if you heard the other one, correct me in the comments on what the other name was. But I know it was the Band one of them was the Bandinos. And we and one of, let me say this, they also had a, a TV show called Sons of Anarchy, where these motorcycle gangs in California were running methamphetamines up and down the highway. That's based on like real life events. These motorcycle gangs raise a lot of hell, and they are extremely loyal to the gang extremely loyal and they're some of the most violent gangs in america they're not talked about as much but these motorcycle gangs are violent as hell and they stick to the oath we took a continuation of an ongoing squabble between my gangs it was a confrontation of some sort that we're still trying to look into uh, in albuquerque and that spilled over to here it started with words initially then turned into language in terms of shots fired. The mayor saying all involved were quickly arrested, including 30-year-old Jacob Castillo. Jacob Castillo? That mother look like Jonah Hill. <laughs> look at Jonah Hill's illegitimate stepbrother, Billy Hill. Jonah, if you don't go get your damn brother, he's out here acting a fool. But he does. He looks just like goddamn Jonah Hill. But they said they got him under arrest. Um... Uh, they have all of them under arrest. Let's see if they start snitching. Usually, like I said, the motorcycle gangs are pretty loyal to each other. The state police say has been charged with murder. She is in all There is no threat to the community. New Mexico's governor tweeting, my thoughts are with the Red River community following this violent incident. This weekend shooting comes less than two weeks after three people were killed and six injured in Farmington, New Mexico. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been 253 mass shootings this year. As you can see, it's not just a Chicago problem at this point. It's not just a mass shooting here or there at this point. It's just the overall violence that is happening in America is the problem at this point. They say it's guns, but it's really not. It's not just guns. It's the people. It's the spirit. It's the you know, people don't value life no more like they used to. We don't have the same foundation, foundation of belief in God. All that stuff is starting to disappear at a light speed pace. And it's becoming more and more dangerous where you have to carry something. I always tell people, man, I don't give a damn if it's a pepper spray, a ninja star, a handful of sand. 
I don't give a damn what it is, a pocket knife, uh, whatever, whatever you need to at least have something because people are nuts nowadays. I did some videos on a lady who was chasing people down with baseball bats. He might say you might not need no knife, but you just never know anything. Something is better than nothing at this point. Daniel Red River Memorial Rally. Typically, I should say about 30,000 people filling the town's main street with food, music, and fumes. Now, at the very heart of what should have been a celebration, it's transformed into another crime scene. Steve Patterson, NBC News. But yeah, I just wanted to go over that uh, case right quick and take a look at that clip. But like I said, you guys, no matter where you turn, there's just violence everywhere. I stay here in Vegas on the news. It's always somebody getting killed or shot. Motorcycle gangs out of control. Regular gangs out of control. Uh, the police department having their own problems and issues. Everywhere you look, whether it's politics, whether it's in the police department, whether it's street gangs, something going on. This country is circling the drain. And, you know, it gets to a point. It's, it's getting to a point where we all realize we got to protect ourselves because the police came and cleaned it up, but there was already people dead by the time they got there. That's why I say the police ain't nothing but a cleanup crew. Are they needed? Absolutely, but they basically get there after the people are dead and start arresting people, but it don't do you no good if you're one of the people in the graveyard. But this has been Sports, Life, and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, YouTube's number one couch detective. I'm here for the news. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I just took your ass on a Red River shootout. Ride. Peace.